Almost set for evening baseball from Great American Park in Cincinnati. Tonight, it's a matchup from the NL Central between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. So digging in now, number 87 he comes in today, third, leading the National the League in hitting this baseman. year. This number season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Fouled away. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course, but they got to find a way to play a little bit better today. Kind dig, of dig, 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 dig. Working in a positive direction. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. We'll move to ending number two here in Cincinnati. It's the Pirates five and the Reds nothing. So striding forward now, Rafael Ortega off to a number good start 69. at the plate. He blasted a grand slam in his first time around. One, one, one. Down to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Coming to the plate now, number 87 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Naquin comes on now, and he has it one down. Digging in, number 87, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And he fouls this one off. Prahan is off of first with two away. And he takes one this one. one high, one and one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. One and one, here it is. Fouled off. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Hey, Dan, as a former pitcher, that knock just took him to a 12-game hit streak. Is that in the packet when you're looking over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Dero. You go into a pitcher's meeting, and they're making fully aware of who's hot and who's not. And trust me, they knew that he had an 11-game hitting streak. And after that knock, it's an even dozen. Up next, Stepping into the box, Rupnit the Odor. Basement. It was a flyout okay. for him in his last trip. Odor. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulled go, toward go, go, right go, go, center go, go, field. Go. Ortega giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through six full. Pirates lead it six to nothing.
Now at the plate, number 87. As the switch number hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Swinging left-handed and swinging from the right side. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. And the inning is over. Reds are down in order. They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. Nine to one is the way this one ends. The Pittsburgh Pirates jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chris Juarez earns the win his second as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Jack Flaherty was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.